Hi, this is Franck Baudin from Cosmos and I would like to show you a demonstration of OpenFlow application extensible matcher that permit to provide layer 7 visibility into vSwitches. So this demonstration is based on the code that we developed on OpenVSwitch and this code has been published on OpenVSwitch mailing list so uh, you can have a look and uh, comment it on the mailing list. The idea of applica application extensible matcher is to add a matcher based on application ID in OpenVSwitch. So instead of uh, matching on uh, input ports, Ethernet address, TCP port, we will match on application ID. This example of configuration show how to match all HTTP traffic just based on the application ID. So application ID is stored in AXM0. So application extensible matcher 0 and uh, I choose to send HTTP traffic with application ID 67 into the VLAN 67 and SSH um, with application ID 190 into the corresponding VLAN just to, uh, to, to show something quite visual. So the test base is composed of three machines. First one is the client in, in white. The second one in gray is the open vSwitch with the configuration above and this vSwitch is connected to a server uh, via Ethernet and has two VLANs configured on this on this side, one for HTTP, one for SSH. This server acts as a VLAN endpoint and it could be considered as the first hop of a service chain for the one who knows what service chaining is. So this could be the, the gate of a service chaining or service chain based on application ID. So now let's move on with the demonstration. So in gray we have the vSwitch, in white the client, in black the server. Let's start the vSwitch. So this is regular open vSwitch parameters and these are the DPI engine plugin parameters. So uh, I ask to extract for some kind of uh, visibility and uh, to, to have something to see on the screen the extraction of the HTTP server for HTTP traffic and uh, also to display um, uh, the application ID and the application string name. So I start the vSwitch Let's configure it. So what's in the configuration? Compared to the slide before, there is something important to understand is that DPI classify packets based on the flow content, not on the TCP ports. This is why to classify SSH or HTTP, you cannot do the classification on the first packet. So at the beginning, the first packet, for instance, of the, so the first TCP scene, the first act as a response are not classified. So for this special case, so AXM0 value is 0, which means classification in progress. Then once the flow is classified, for instance, for HTTP here, so we have a match with AXM0 in table 0 and we send it in the VLAN 67. So we resubmit in 1, table 1. ICMP is sent to table 2. In table 2, we send it in the corresponding VLAN. Same for SSH in table 3. So let's configure it. OK, so this is table 0 with the default, with the, for the packets uh, classification in progress. And then for SSH, ICMP, and HTTP. On the server, we have an HTTP server listening on port 80 and 5080. For SSH on port 22 and 5022, just to show that the classification is based on application and not on TCP port. And that, uh, this is it. So I will TCP dump on the server and show that HTTP traffic arrive in the proper VLAN, same for SSH, same for ICMP. So let's start with SSH. 
So I arrive on the server. So you see here, this is SSH, application ID in 198, and here, okay, SSH port, regular one, and we are in the proper VLAN, so the vSwitch has made its job. Then, the same with a non-regular SSH port, okay, once again, so port 5022, send in VLAN 198, still classified as SSH. Let's have a try with HTTP. Okay, so by the way, so we have the server metadata that has been extracted here. And uh, so we have, um, you see, port 80 and VLAN 67, HTTP as you see here as a reminder. And now the same on port 5080, still HTTP, same server, port 5080, the proper VLAN. And then we ping. And this is it. ICMP traffic here is arriving in the VLAN 70. So, this demonstration show uh, application ID. Uh, we can think of uh, other uh, extensible matcher content like family ID or metadata URLs. Uh, this is not implemented yet and this is a work in progress. Your feedback is, well, is welcome on Open vSwitch uh, mailing list on the implementation, on the use cases. Thank you and have a good end of day.